Hey, what's up guys? So I'm back again with another set of applications to get you started this month. So all of these applications are great and will add new features to your phone. And if you want to download them, the Google Play links are linked below in the description box. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the first app here on the list is Noon Pacific. So this app provides a mixtape of the best songs which are handpicked from the best music blogs. This service has been out for a while and now is available as an Android app. So every Monday noon, a new playlist will be added. The design is simple and minimal. A sidebar contains all the playlists sorted by the time it's released and it's one of them having 10 songs with a unique album art. You definitely need to try this app as the playlists here are very different that you find in Spotify. Those are auto-generated while this is handpicked from some of the professionals. So do try it, I'm sure you'll like the music suggested by this app. Next on the list we have Hexlock. So Hexlock adds an extra layer of security in your Android phone. So there are many apps and media lockers out there but this one integrates well with Android. And in terms of locking method, you can use fingerprint, passcode or pattern. And once you get into the app, you will see different profiles like work, home, party and school. For each profiles, you can lock specific set of apps. And for each profile, you can trigger it automatically when connecting to a Wi-Fi network. For example, home profile will automatically become active when you are connected with your home network. Profiles and automatic switching is very useful and in the sidebar you will see media vault using which you can hide pictures and videos. The UI of this app is integrated well with smooth transitions. Overall it's one of the best app locker. The fingerprint lock and automatic profile switching is what makes this app great. There's a new app called wallpaper made by Google. And this is what you find as the default wallpaper option in Google Pixel and probably in the final version of Nougat. So inside of this wallpaper you'll find a bunch of wallpapers separated by categories. And all of these wallpapers are great. You'll have categories like patterns, texture, life, landscape, cityscapes and new wallpapers are being added constantly. And there's also live wallpaper and these live wallpaper change according to the time of the day gradually. So it's not constantly changing affecting your battery life but changing at a slow rate which has minimal impact on battery. So do try this app, it will definitely bring a new look to your phone. Next on the list is Flychat. So if you like the bubble feature of Facebook Messenger, well this app brings it to most messenger apps like WeChat, WhatsApp and the default messaging app. So with this app installed, whenever you get a message, it will open up in a bubble. The main idea here is let you continue to do another task while being able to reply to a text. And it works well, multiple bubbles pop up for multiple messaging app. Each messaging app has its own color which can be changed from the settings menu. The settings menu also allows you to disable flight ad if some specific apps are in use. The next one here is Bohemian Rhapsody Experience. So this app will provide a journey through Freddie Mercury's subconscious mind and will also recreate the sensation of being on stage with the band. So if you own a VR device, you really need to try this out. The content here is also available as a 360 degree video if you don't own a VR device. So there's not much that can be said about this app, just try it and make sure you plug in your earphones. Next on the list, we have got Pixel. So this app is sort of like Prisma Photo Editor that we saw earlier but for videos. So there are a bunch of cool unique filters which can be applied to a video. And as of now, the effects cannot be applied to a previously recorded video. The video needs to be captured through this app with a filter applied. And once you are done, you can share it as video or you can share it on the social medias. The filters here are fun to play 
and will amaze your friends easily. The next one here is Chrome Canary. So this is experimental version of Chrome where features get added first so that users can use it and from the feedback and user reports Google then improves the feature before adding it to the main release. And this version is also faster than Chrome for most of the times but sometimes it can be unstable. So currently right when you install it you will see a new section built right into the startup tab which is absent in the final build. Similarly there are many other features that you can find here once you start using it. So if you want to get ahead of other users and know what Google is planning to add, you can try this app. The next one is Action Director. So it's a video editor with some great tools for editing. The interface here is clutter free making it easy to use. So there are 5 options and all the editing is done using these options. So trim allows you to trim the video, action allows you to adjust playback speed, repeat and reverse, color allows to change contrast, brightness and highlights, then you can add title and background music. This is not a powerful editor though. Options to mix together different clips would have been great but for beginners it's a very simple and easy to use app and you can get great videos on the go using this one. Now we have got Brave Browser. So this browser looks and feels exactly like Chrome browser for mobile phones. The layout and button placements are same with inclusion of this icon. Tapping it allows you to enable ad block, enable tracking and enhance security while browsing the web. So according to the dev, this browser is faster and consumes less battery than usual Chrome browser and as ads are not being displayed it automatically enhances performance and apart from that there are some additional tweaks that does that. So this browser is closest to Chrome with ad blocking in Android. Well in terms of features definitely Chrome is better than Brave browser but when you want ad free browsing you can use this one. The next app here is Prescape. So this app is like Photosphere found in Google camera which can take 360 degree photos. The only difference here is you can mass all them together. So you point your camera and touch the screen. This will start taking pictures. Then you can lift your finger, reposition the camera and touch the screen again. This will add a new picture over the previous one. So most of the times the result will not be as expected but if done right it can result in some unique photos. So it's up to you and your creativity on how you use this app. So that's all about this video guys. Hope you guys found some great apps for yourself. And do subscribe for more app videos like rooted apps, apps to customize your phone and Android hacks. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.